votre disposition si vous avez des questions. I'm all yours if you have questions. Hello, gentlemen. Camille Macali from L'Equipe. A first question for you, Fabien. How do you feel? It's now been four years you've been preparing for this meeting. We felt you a little bit nervous before the opening game. What's your current state of mind? You're always nervous before that kind of game. It would be to lie to say that we don't feel any tension of course we all feel it, and that's what is uh, at uh, flavour to those instants and what we've been saying since we started this competition. We've been trying to enjoy those moments because they are rare moments in your life, and we try to live them well, to live them together. And to progress towards this rendezvous with pleasure, with joy, with happiness, and determination as well, of course. Hello, gentlemen. A question for Antoine. Since your injury, uh, many things have happened since your injury. So just on the emotional and physical levels, can you tell us how you feel today? I feel very well today on, in both areas. At the time, I didn't know how serious my injury was, so, so I thought the competition was over for me. But I had to wait for the exams, uh, the meetings with the surgeon, the operation, uh, to get hope back. My convalescence went well. I was able to progressively start to uh, go through the stages again before starting to play again. I was lucky enough to have several weeks in which to do this, and today I am fully capable. I'm in full possession of my means, whether physical or technical, and to be ready for this game on Sunday. Fabien, hello. Uh, on a personal level, would you say this is the most important game of your mandate? Well, as it happens, we're uh, heading for a meeting that will be the most important, but that's because it's the one that's coming up. The past is, well, is been shelved, it's on the shelves, it's been, or it's part of your experience, but the meeting that's approaching, well, maybe I'll talk about the South African team first, to play such an opponent who have, who are world champions, who have been world champions for four years, who beat the Lions, they're a team who is all-conquering, a winning team. A, game, a team that also inspired us a lot. We followed them closely and tried to understand their vision, the sense they gave to their commitment. They talk about their nation, of unifying the nation. They wear a whole symbol of a country that we love. Well, personally, since I've lived over there in 95 and I learnt a lot over there of their vision, of their country, of their culture. So for us, playing against this team in Paris at the Stade de France in a World Cup quarter-final, it's magnificent, it's marvellous. I keep on repeating those words, but we're aware of it. I'm aware of it because it was a question to me, but we are all aware of it. But we just have to say that for us, what's at stake is, as it has been since the beginning, is to play, is to play, simply to play rugby with pleasure as a team. And with ambition. We want to meet this challenge, as we always have. Uh, hello to both of you. To your left here at the back, Pierre Vin for Canal Plus. Fabien, the South Africans went to a 5 3 bench split. They previously played 7 1 or 6 2. Have you adapted with the, uh, their team announcement by changing your plans at the last minute? And what does it change for you? 
Well, to know the uh, uh, South African team and their staff, if they are world champions and beat the Lions, is because they have got a very sharp tactical approach. It's very, very well thought out. They always come up with a strategy with a very well studied plan for the opponent. Nothing is left to chance. Uh, it's not chance that makes them select their team. They haven't been playing for two weeks. They've been observing what's going on around them for two weeks now. I think they know us very, very well. They've studied us very, very well. And their choice to line up, uh, first of all, a team selection that is actually quite particular because there's a few changes in there. And their choice also to to have a 5-3 bench split is founded. It's a, this is a tactical decision. It's strategic. It's a thought-out decision. It's a game of chess. They came out, they put out their team selection this morning. We were also thinking about what they might uh, put up. And, well, that's it as well. That's pre match preparation as well. It's a level of strategy, of thought processes pushed to the extreme. So it's perfect. It's perfect. Fabien, uh, we get the feeling through this uh, team selection by the Springboks that they will be adapting to you, which is not necessarily part of their culture. Does this give you even more confidence in your strategy or does it make you doubt two days before the game? Well, I think they always adapt. You shouldn't think they've got strong points and they are aware of it and they claim it loudly, but they are a team that always adapts, always, always, always. Every time they will take bring something out, so they'll take out what they do best to help them to be tactically perfect in the game against the opponent. They always very read the game very accurately. I've spent time with them and their staff in the past uh, because they're in Munster, they're at Munster. It's not a chance, it's not by chance that the team performs as it performs. It's very intelligent, very tactical. We're in, a, in the world of strategy and tactics at the moment, and that's uh, quite not a bad thing for us. Martin Ange for Europe One. We talked about the 5-3 bench split uh, for South Africa. You'd previously been playing 5-3 on the bench, and now you've gone back to 6-2 with uh, Macalou, Senko Macalou, who played against South Africa against in Marseille a year ago and performed really well on the wing. Can you explain why this 6-2 split choice and was Senko's performance in Marseille, was that something that played in his favour for the selection? Well... Tactically, we're not going to say too much. Uh, we're going to keep some of what we've prepared for Sunday. However, on the on Sekou Makalu's presence on in in the finishing team, it's in order to be able, depending on depending on this area and the way the game progresses, it's in order to be able to have different levers we can use during the game to be able to conserve power, but also speed, to conserve impact, but also to be present on the uh, aerial game, on the kicking game. Uh, we also have players on the field, uh, we have starters who can also enable us to cover different options without fundamentally modifying our organisation. Gentlemen, a question for Antoine. Uh, on the evening of 21st of December, when you get injured, were you afraid you might not replay again during this World Cup? Yes. As I said, I didn't know the nature of my injury, even though I knew there was something wrong. I felt it uh, during my first X-ray, uh, so it was a difficult moment. The World Cup is long, and I'm lucky enough that my injury occurred early enough in a competition. I'm lucky also to have this, uh, to have had this uh, weekend off, which has given us time to regenerate, to prepare, to get the feelings back, to f spend a full training week with the group. 
even if now for we, we know each other well after four years, but it was important for me to be able to validate all the stages before being uh, re back for this weekend. Hello, Antoine. Nicolas Malé from AFP. How is it with the scrum pack? Scrum pack, will you be wearing one? Well, it's the surgeon's wish. He suggested this. He more than suggested it, in fact. So I tested uh, scrum cap this week. I, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother my vision or my sight, so I will be wearing it. Now, uh, you, you played with Manuel Manuel with a scrum cap on. I can remember that. I have pictures. Antoine, to your left, in the past, over the last few months, your game evolved, you said so, with maybe a little bit less contact. What does that bring for you? And is that all the more precious in a game like this for you? Well, surely it shows that I've uh, gained an experience and I can adapt to the opponent as to, to what's put in front of me. It wasn't really a will to change the way I played. Uh, it's more a question of adapting. If there's less space in front of me, it means there's some a bit further away. So the scrum house first role is to make his team play well, to make his teammates play well. So I find myself I, I like that game as much as the one where I carry the ball more. It's sure I get that against a defence like the South Africans, who are very aggressive, who come up very high. Uh, uh, it's best to have a little bit of comfort and put the ball in our uh, receiver's hands, whether our forwards or uh, the fly half. But once again, we'll need to adapt to what's put in front of us and go and find the spaces where they will be on Sunday. Hello, gentlemen. Arnaud Cag, La Montagne. Question for Antoine. How did you feel uh, in the first contacts in training? Well, it was quite progressive. I started low intensity running and then I went up and up, and the same with contacts. I started in the middle of last week to, uh, to find a few more uh, shapes uh, without too much in intensity, and then a bit more during the weekend. And uh, this week I was able to train fully. So this progression uh, this pro and to be able to get back to collective trainings, to get back in game situations, into contact situations, enabled me to get my confidence back and uh, find myself fully ready and fit. I had no pains and that also reassured me it was important, as I said, to be able to validate all the different stages of recovery. I'd like to add that in terms of all the pressure that there was around Antoine and his injury, we treated the subject uh, in a very relaxed way with, first of all, of course, the medical side, the surgeon, and with Antoine, of course, as we said, we were comfortable because we had some time and we never forced any of the decisions. We took it step by step. We didn't push anything at all in any particular direction. We approached all the stages with a lot of uh, serenity and relaxed. The World Cup, as Antoine says, is long, and that gives us the possibility to have starting the World Cup with 33 of us and still have the same 33 at this stage, even if uh, Julien has only played a quarter of an hour against the All Blacks. But Julien is also coming back. He's uh, keeping himself ready, and Antoine has had the time to recuperate, as have uh, had other players. That it's also this a World Cup. They're also one during uh, over the duration and during the waiting phases between games. Hello, gentlemen. A question for Antoine. So. Uh, Mentally, how do you pre prepare to pay an opponent whose uh, style of game and whose intensity uh, is, and how do you manage to prepare the pain? Mentally, do you think, do something else? Do you think about something completely different or have you integrated that there will also be pain involved? Well, on these games at that level of intensity, there will always be a bit of pain, whether physical or mental. It's uh, These ga games are very trying, international games are. We had a trying game against uh, them in November, but every time we play against big nations, and even more so when there is uh, when the stakes are high, whether a Six Nations game or on the tours when we played uh, against the All Blacks or Australia, these are always very hard physical games, and we need to be ready to suffer to reach uh, what we want. 
we have very high goals for it, and there are ingredients we need to put in and we know that it will be very hard from the start whistle to the final whistle if we're not ready for that i don't believe we're ready to get to where we want to go final question antoine with fabien you have a special relationship with him fabien I think you met, you had a program in 2001 with your nose. Did you did you discuss this uh, with uh, him? Did was he able to give you his personal experience of what he went through? Yes, it's true. He did uh, talk to me about it, but as he said, I didn't really feel any pressure from the staff. It all happened quite naturally. And if I'm playing today, it's because uh, everything's fine. I have the surgeon's approval. No decision was forced. We respected all the uh, timetables imposed from the beginnings. The different stages were progressive. And the most important thing was also how I felt at each uh, validated step, at each validated stage. Not have any apprehension not to play with fear or with a break with a handbrake on that was the main thing to think about the team before above yourself and I know very well that if I hadn't been able to play I'd have been replaced in the best way whether Max or Baptiste every time they were been on the field they have performed really well they also know that they know the team and the group as well as I do and we've all been working together for four years to get to this stage so I didn't feel any particular pressure for on that side. If I'm playing today, it's because I feel well, I feel good, and that the medical side has validated my place on the team sheet. I think aesthetically it's better for, he looks better than I did. Uh, medicine has improved. It was a long time ago.